Knife round finished, and it will be third impact once again, starting on their T side. That's a little bit worrisome after seeing their T side on Inferno. I want to know what they have in store for us on train. I haven't seen too much of third impact on train. And I've seen something from Rebirth on this map. They've uh, played Triumph and were able to 16, I believe 14, if I remember correctly. I'm on this map with 60 having a really good game. But either way. Let's see what they got in store for us. 60, that is disgusting. Two on the edge of the smoke there. Quite an opening as he does eventually get taken down, but he's done a, his work and then some as it does look like Zodic looking to end things early here as Rek finds the last kill. 1-0 oh, as finally Rebirth get their first pistol round on the way. And I'm wondering if Third Impact have any remnants in their head from the previous game where... It's gotta be a little bit frustrating running into Saadik and really everyone on Rebirth who are constantly pressuring and punishing them. But Saadik gets that opening kill there. And now Puts the rest of Third Impact in a rough spot here. And finally a trade to come through from Dane. who's was able to find Retchy, but... <laughs> Carsey going for the knife kill. Is very ambitious with two players down ladder. Does some good damage. And his teammates are able to finish things off. Oh my god. Either way, going for a couple of knife kills there and it does get punished, so money not in the greatest of situations and see if that comes back to bite them. Rebirth as could come at an expensive price tag. IV control is made a priority here from third impact using quite a bit of utility. To scale up this direction. But so far, T-Con control has responded by from Rebirth, so. Somewhat trading things back and forth and saying gonna have to duel two really oppressive opponents and instead just get smoked off. You have to think that's relatively helpful there for Sixy. Playing inside of that smoke. Two on the other end. Tracks. Insane through it. Walker takes a good chunk of damage, but continues to progress forward here. And Sixie's totally fallen off this angle. Zodic gets caught unaware as Sixie did fall off previously, so... That is an opening pick there as Walker, you can see, trying to find an entry. Rack and still going to find that one. Walker gets traded. Grape as well takes one down, but... From there, it all falls short. And a pretty easy recovery from Rebirth after that pick from Walker. So what? What are the impact to do here? It does seem like some remnants of that previous game are reaching over the inconsistency. The, the rather hesitation would be best for it and... Getting a nice eco round would be a good start to getting themselves back into this game. And 2-1 Deeks possibly to do it from Insane and Walker. Walker. It's a couple shots thrown at him. But manages to sneak away. A dang gonna eat a grenade.
music continues to play on. A minute left in the round. So, so much time for Third Impact to work with here in the even 3v3. But will be Third Impact moving their way through Ivy. Slowly but surely. Now, one minute has turned into 30 seconds here. So, Third Impact going to have to pick up the pace here. So, they continue to walk forward. Rhett going to now cover Ivy. Later on in the round, Walker's nice headshot, and Rek does not fall short whatsoever. Two opening picks there, it's all in the back of Dane. He's going to be over in Tcon on the opposite side of the map of Bomb, and that's not exactly what you want there. That is a Deeg shot that you'd certainly like. Going for a second as well on a Rek, and it will be Rek who wins the duel. 4k in the round, and a fourth on the board. Train is indeed the worst map in the map pool. Just kidding, Mirage. Actually, honestly, now that I've been playing like, like, in in, in this season, I've pretty much played every map. We thought we hated Nuke at one point. Now we hate Train. I don't know. We're all over the place, and it is kind of a sleeper map though. And right now. It's looking like a rough game. Third impact. Down 4-0. Plenty of time left. We'll see if they're able to make up the difference. That is not exactly the start that you want to see. Another kill goes forward for Rebirth. Another opening pick. That gets taken away with minimal damage. Minimal risk here. It's not going to go aggressive. Finds a kill onto the That's insane. It's traded, but it comes at the price. And a hefty one at that. Great finally able to find a response through the smoke as well. So now a 3v2 situation. If you look at the A bomb, say even 2v2. Now it's only Carson left. He's trying to buy time for the flank of Wreck to come through. No one's watching this angle. Dane turns around, but it's not enough. He'll get taken down. Now just Grape left alone. Has so many different angles to cover here. Looking behind him, looking towards Z, but doesn't realize exactly where Carson is. That noise being made. Cue to Carson to peek off. And 5-2-0. Third impact getting dismantled at every opportunity. And Zodic just now, for the first time in the series. Or sorry, for the first time in the map, bringing out the AWP. Not going to make things any easier. Breck going on the aggressive. Actually, Breck kind of went out on that duel. Great able to find a trade as well, so this opens up a world... Where third impact can find these kills. And there, Dane has another. It's all falling apart here. Sodic didn't even get a chance to use this up all that effectively. Only gets two shots rattled off. One's a hit, one's a miss. So, third impact, they pick up a first round. And money's surprisingly low on rebirth. They could turn around for them. There's another kill going forward. Grape has been doing a great job towards ladder room. Brett finds himself another, but they still have to take care of Zodic, and Rek finds one as well. Rek does get taken care of, and now things are starting to get a little bit dicey as Insane takes a couple shots at it. Looks to be a dead body here. Zodic now taken down quite low as well. Brett seemingly hugging on for dear life towards E-Box. Relying mostly on his teammate of Insane to do most of the work here. Smoke goes in towards Z. That'll isolate only one on site here. Does Q to Carson to kind of rotate back towards this direction. 
But Zodok's still alone. Playing towards Old Bomb here. Brett seems like he's able to get this bomb down here. Instead, waiting for Insane. This round all coming down to timing here is still one, split one to one. Zodic could do some good damage with his scout. Brett finally able to punch in those numbers. But Zodic doesn't quite hear it. And so now they'll realize. Bomb has been planted. The rotates will come through. This fight coming down to whether Crush is prepared for it. Finds a deep, but not able to find the kill all in all. And now just leaving. So I think in the 1v2, playing around the corner. Flashbang doesn't quite blind him up here, but headshot will certainly close his eyes. His third impact get themselves a second on the board. Punish the force by, although it came down to the wire. Definitely a close go about things. Third impact, they keep on fighting here. So far, looking to tie up their uh, record on Inferno. Certainly capable of doing that now. It's just Rechi. Left alone. Bomb going to be planted here safely, so Rechi looking to hold on to that AK most likely. Third map is currently going on right now, my guy. Oh my god, he survives on one HP. He is very close to dying. He doesn't get around the corner in time. So all is well for Rebirth and the fact that they hold on to that one AK. No op this round for Zodic. Instead, they're going for another save here. Deagle, Deagles, I should say, being bought up here and trying to get Zodic and most likely the rest of Rebirth on AWPs, things like AUGs or a lot of util. All tools to try and just pull some momentum back in their favor after losing three rounds in a row. Grenade from Grape looking to drop down into that molly, rather smoke. That smoke went a little bit deep for Brett as he's not able to aggress further off that play. Very slow round going forward here. It's just looks like you're gearing up for an A side hit. Making sure that they cover all their bases here. It seems to be a re-aggression here towards A bomb site. That's a nice pickup from Rachi though. That's gonna make sure that there's only players available to go through T Con, through Ivy, and not even that. That won't even happen. There's a one pronged approach, and they've got to rely on shots. And that is what Grape does. Finds two openers. Evens things out as he gets traded. Now the flank from Zodak going to come through. He's picked himself up an AK. So things looking somewhat good here. 60 goes one for one. Insane able to find the player over towards Z. And now it's all in the back of Zodak here. Low HP on Dane. Do a lot of damage here. Bomb finally going down. And Dane picks himself up an AWP. Shots rattling off and Dane. Oh my god. What on earth was that for Zodic? He's gonna go forward as well. Dane's been playing really well, just holding this bomb and it's been tapped here. Well Dane peeked. Does he think it's a fake? That's just a little of the knee. Well shoot him in the knee cap there. That's gotta hurt if you're Zodic and puts him down.
Now double op setup being brought out here immediately for rebirth. It's exactly what we expected after that, what I thought was a triple save, if I'm remembering correctly. It's third impact. Keeping things slow right now. No over aggression, no over positioning. They don't fall towards ladder this round. Instead they're trying to pull rotates over towards the B side of the map here. Maybe finding a pick over towards Ivy. With a nice adjustment, Walker would ju do just that. 60 goes down. Putting a lease in the smoke there. Some people call it phase. But if you're from NA, you gotta call it these. There's Wreck and Zodic both find themselves a kills piece there. That makes things an even 3v3. But B bomb site is opened up here. Great playing around the pop dog ladder here. Smoke goes into allow for the cross to sight. So I've got something going for them at the very least. Now he's going towards sight and they won't be afforded a plant just yet. They'll have to wait for that one. And Dane able to pick up a kill towards heaven. Walker finally able to punch in those numbers, but it's not the greatest of plant spots here. And one spotted. Walker's position now given up. He gets pushed. Zodic and Grape and Dane all find kills. That smoke almost as embarrassing as not having better... Full deagles being brought out here. And another fast down ladder play coming through. It's been heard, but it doesn't matter. Brett finds himself another opening towards this position. Sodic looking to find himself some shots here. Don't quite land just yet. Dane tracks him through the smoke. getting planted. Carson snuck around, but it won't mean too much as 60 left alone. What do you want me to do with all this, man? I don't know how to add all that stuff. I gotta sneeze, but I didn't sneeze. That is the worst. I, I'm running out of fuel. I'm on a major crash right now. But I've got one more match to cast, so I'm trying to keep it up. I should have got more caffeine, but I also need to sleep tonight. I hope you all understand. Either way, things are looking on the up and up for third impact. Six in a row, although one goes down. You're towards T-Con. The fast aggression finally gets punished. 60. Trying to go for more. <laughs> it's called phasing? No, it's called a leasing. Unless you just hate North America, JoJo. Unless you just hate Team Liquid. Which is fine. I just would like to know. Why? But good recovery around there from Rebirth. Fast B play going through. They don't have to smoke for the molly. They finally do. And it will be caught with an 8 out here. Somehow, Zodic doesn't go down. And fast up the ladder. A couple of kills. Retchy goes down here. Through the smoke. Walker looking to block him. Does he spot the pose? He will eventually. And that makes things a man advantage once again. Here is Wreck pushing forward. He finds a line up. Oh, okay, Walker with a quick 3k. Will give third impact that seventh round here is 
With five alive in the previous, I'll have plenty of money to invest once again. Max loss bonus coming to effect for rebirth. What the issue is, is that they're playing on CT side nuke, and so far it's third impact all the way. All of a the sudden, they've been punching back. Rebirth seemed to have slipped here. At the beginning of this game, Rebirth, they were having fun. They were going for knives, but all of a sudden, it's uh, the real deal, and you're looking at being down around. Brett just peeks into the AWP, trying to find a little bit of timing, but there's two players holding down this B-bomb site. Crosshair color white. I do that. Just kidding. No idea how to do that. Walker jumping down here looking for a response. See if he gets anything. One player towards E-box, one close on the wall. Making this very difficult. Another player jumping down towards ladder. Now the swing comes through. It's a pick, and it's a trade from Walker as well. Going for more. Zodic and Walker not missing, missing their shot here. 60 falling back through the smoke, and still an even 3v3 with a lot to work for. Insane. Spamming through the smoke. Dane on top of the blue train. Able to pick one up, and now Carson just in a 1v3. Spots one out. Hits the spray on a Dane. Some good, not good damage effect on a Carson. He's still pretty full on HP. And a swing coming through from both Walker and Insane will afford them an eighth round. Now the money looking pretty rough. M4 still being purchased, but lacking utility. <laughs> Jojo's pissed. Jojo's so pissed. And you know who else is pissed? It's Dane. She gets nailed from the scout head shot. Through the smoke though, Brett able to trade. So great response right there. Alright, that's just a perma ban right there. Hate to break it to ya. I don't even know the score yet, but perma ban right there. Don't mess around, seriously. Don't type scores in chat. No spoilers, please. It's gonna be Zodic getting his day spoiled with a nice shot from insane headshot as well. 60 looking to alleviate some of that pressure, but now it's being brought towards the B-bomb site. There's a fast flank. Walker going to find that kill. And with bomb being planted, will Grape hold this down in time? He will. 60 now in a 1v2. He's found the first on the Brett. Let's catch the second here. And the swing coming through. Catches him jumping. Grape able to close that one out. It's 9-6 for third impact and a good first half. With that being said, we're throwing a 2 or 3 minute ad break. You gotta make some money. So with that being said, I'll be back here shortly. But do not miss a beat.
We are back. We are back. With second half. This around coming through. I typed it. I typed it and it just went green. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> God, I love being able to... You just get rolled, man. All of the noob viewers, man. All of the noob viewers just pissed right now. Just pissed. Just pissed that that casters just get a dime off of these games, man. A dime. A nickel and a pennies. Pennies, really. Pennies on the dollar for what I'm doing. For free. By the way, that is a beautiful headshot. I ain't picking one up. As Zodic still trying to hold this line down. Zodic able to take down Walker. And now this B play coming through. Grape throws a smoke down just in time. Hits a nice reaction. And a very nice flick. On to the likes of Carson here, but the rest of Calvary, Calvary has arrived. And they're still trying to hold this line down. Finds himself another P2000 coming at what seems to be back in the meta here. Yeah, Retchy left in a 1v2. Playing ring around the Rosie here is Retchy. Trying to find any sort of shots that aren't quite connecting just yet. Gets just around the corner here, playing towards Pop Dog. And just be as mobile as possible. Trying to take as many duels, any opportunities. And Brett goes down when he pushes forward. Dane now left alone, and that is given up. You have to think at what point. You just kind of slow things down for third impact. It seems like they didn't quite get a handle on things there. They shouldn't have gone that way. So Richie, I'm gonna pick things up here. Continues to pressure outside with two picks and some great damage. It's all in the back of Insane here. He gets nothing. I'm from Kentucky. We'll see a nade stack go through. Sonic taken down quite low. We'll see another player get taken down here. Okay, and Satan's found a two picks. Sixty taken down quite low. Two trades, so go back and forth. Sixty able to at least alleviate some of that pressure with the help of Rack. And Satan was the only player to get two kills there. The rest aren't able to do anything. So scoreline tied up nine to nine. But here's where the weapons get brought out from third impact. Things all tied up here. Here we have Walker holding down the line. He can't shoot through. He would have shot his teammates. Instead, he waits to shoot one through the smoke, but they've already pushed forward here. They're already past their line of sight. Rec looking to run through the smoke. Could be disastrous here. And it is, in fact, so. so now it's all in the back of 60. He was that late lurk. And he gets nothing. Third and back, they get a tenth on the board. Still able to buy up once again here, but Rebirth will be forced onto a rough buy if they don't win this one. And I believe only one going down for third impact in the previous means that we're looking well positioned here. Good utility on the CT side. A couple AKs being brought out as well. And Walker still playing a factor with that op. I 
heavy commitment here towards the outer yard. And Carson, he's already pushed forward here. Flashman goes in. And Carson fully blinded up by it. But still able to capitalize here. Somehow Dane gets himself a kill as well. And able to hide around the smoke, but I think he went a little too forward. Brett now being pressured from all angles here, and he gets taken down. The solo B player falls short, and one kill goes towards outside. They don't have control of the bomb. It looks like Sixty trying to get it and trying to get out of dodge here to make his way towards the B bomb site. It's exactly what he will do, and not a good situation if you're third impact. Looking to give this one up, essentially. Walker up the ladder, and that reload seemed to be a bit of a bait there to try and force him in. But Impact's still able to buy up here, but Rebirth. It went such a crucial round. Oh, good. Will be another buy. Both sides. Ooh, take a little chunk of damage there with the molly. But if you hit the headshot, doesn't matter whatsoever. Beautifully done there from Rechi. It is a trade, though, and Dane follows up as well. As they do go two for one and retake this T-Con control. Walker able to upgrade himself onto an AWP. Little does he know if he continued on his endeavor, he would have found himself the bomb. Just, oh, my God. Rechi. Rechi well prepared for that. Carson's still sticking back. We'll catch Insane off guard. Walker trying to find himself a response is able to pick off. Rechi finally takes care of him, but still leaves him in the 2v2, so not the best of situations here. Rebirth looking to fire back here. I'm being planted. That call should be made now. Stain gonna rotate in through ladder. Walker looking like he could have gotten an opportunity to find that pick. But still worried about so many different angles here. There's the smoke in the hands of Dane. Plenty of utility to work with. Could throw smoke on the bomb. Molly for Tikon. Does that. Gets around the corner instead. Walker taps the bomb, but he's got no kit. Neither does Dane, and both of them fall. Very easily done from Carson and Wreck. Able to recover that round, and now this puts Third Impact in a very terrible spot. I wouldn't say terrible, but less than ideal. Certainly the case. Some smokes. Needs going towards outer. It will be Brett. Who finds himself one on the aggression. He gets traded pretty quickly. So now this cues to the rest of Rebirth to just gear up for this B-side hit. A tink comes through from Insane, forcing them to fall very far back. Number 60 scaling up towards this upper. Spots one towards the sidewalk, but unable to find that kill just yet. Insane goes down as well as Grape. Nice break control from Lex Exotic here. And Retchy falls, or rather Retchy drops Dane and Pretty easily done there from Rebirth on the anti-eco. I think that he went up the ladder because he heard the reload. And it's my idea. Another buy being brought out here. No augs being purchased so far from Third Impact. Not really choosing to buy those weapons when a lot of teams have been. Interestingly enough, good molly to go in for Dane. We'll first wreck off the angle. Nades getting exchanged back and forth towards Ivy as we so often see. And Smoke goes in towards the ladder. Seems like Carson couldn't choose who we wanted to select there. And Insane going to turn around with two quick kills there. Stays alive as well. So important. Trying to lead by example right here. To pull third impact to a third or third map victory and say as well. Finds a headshot on the rack. Great stuff from the IGL of third impact. Heaving just Ratchy and Zodic. Lonin.
Not a duo. To be counted out, certainly. But a long road ahead. Walker misses that op shot, forced to reposition. That's the first small victory, I guess. Young boy gets taken, or rather takes one down over towards ladder room, but unable to do anything else. Could retrieve another op there, instead decide against it. And it will be an 11th for third impact. They're showing some signs of life as well. Outer yard being pressured here. Insane once again with the 2k there. Allowing for Walker to play his game as well. Opens up so much space. And that was all in the back of Rechi. In a 1v3. Immediately taken care of. 12 to 12. Things all tied up. Not going to be called. This time it's going to be from... Rebirth. have a B rush coming through in play for Rebirth here. Brett with a molly, but Carson's already pushed out. He could cause some havoc, but instead goes down. Walker here with the reposition. Able to cover his teammates back. It's now Rack looking to go in through upper. Okay, beautiful shot onto Walker there. Going to open up a realm of possibility, but another smoke goes down. They had to follow it up, and they still lack that bomb control. That critical, critical piece of the puzzle missing. Right now for Rebirth. Brett. The only line of defense is they're looking to push through this smoke. Oh, okay. And that smoke not all that perfect. You can see some spam Brett kind of rattled by it. Brett, come on. Gonna play inside of it. Good molly, though. Spam gonna connect there. He will find a kill eventually. Long overdue. Does seem as if Retchy trying to... Wait this round out. Play the long con here. On the flank at the moment. And I don't think anyone spotted him. He's certainly not going to be expected in this position. And turn his attention towards Z. Maybe get the AWP here. That's what he'll do. This is bril brilliant. He'll find the first. That's a kill onto Insane. But another one from Zodic here. 1v2 right now for Rechi. And he'll fall off. I think he's realized this round pretty much over. And instead of go for it, just hold on to that AWP. Max loss bonus, whether he goes down or not, I think it's worth the fight because of the max loss bonus. But third impact either way, able to swipe that lead away. Yeah, I mean, you have to consider, uh, see how much money they gain. Like if it's 3,400, they're on max loss bonus. Actually, you get to see here. Um, they'll get 2,900. Rich, is that would have been able to afford an op pretty comfortably? Either way, though, full nades being bought up, I think it's a, a very small decision. But, you know, you could have possibly won that round and done economical damage. Instead, he's going to just hold on to the op and concede it to third impact. And no possibility of that, that money being cut short. Saying here's the burning in the molly. That's great damage on the wreck as well. Here's the little chat check. I say that, but Carson, he's looking to make things a little bit uncomfortable there. Catches insane this time. Insane's been doing a great job so far in this 
later part of the series and holding the same bomb site. Dane gonna pick up where Insane left off. Instead. Smoke, the only thing shrouding Grape here. And he finds a fully blind headshot. So important there for third impact as they're trying to get themselves at 14th round. And now they've given themselves an advantage here. There's still low HP bars from Wreck and Zodic, but same on the other side of things. Grape and Dane taken down quite low. And 60 looking to make this an even round. Zodic extends the lead here. Brett and Walker left to close it out. And a headshot goes forward. Walker to 1v3 finds the first, but Zodic trades things out. And it's tied up to 13 to 13 here. Third impact's money shot as well. Dane can drop over pistols, but they'll be forced to save up against 14 rounds. Most likely coming through, unless there's some sort of miracle for third impact. You can see D getting armor being bought up here for Dane. The rest unable to afford much, if anything. I'm not sure if playoffs works with the seeding being uh, first seed gets to choose their opponent or what the deal is with playoffs. So you'd have to wait and see for that. Um, but yeah, I gotta be 14 for rebirth, and you'd have to think that advantage there in the game. Could have been so monumental if they were able to capitalize it for third impact. Now it seems as if they can't quite do so. I saw I see that it's not over just yet. Still ample opportunity. But a fast day play. Rebirth. Betting it all on this, and it's going to pay off so far. 60 able to catch Insane as Dane trades. And now they're tucking tail and hitting the B-bomb site. This is so aggressive here. And Retchy first in. Brett throwing that sidewalk smoke. He gets taken down very low. He's going to be pressured along the edge of the smoke there. Wreck gets the kill and is traded eventually here. It's low HP on the planter, but saw not it has the op. It's not to worry. Now the retake will ensue. A very even 3v3, and this has to be a round for tr third impact. They are staring down the barrel of a 2-1 defeat. After picking up the map pick on Nuke, it might just be out of it here in this one. And a fast flick from Zodic could just seal the deal. Dane now left alone. He's been doing his best to pull this back. Catches Zodic off guard, but it will be Carson who gets him onto that match point. Who gets him that much closer to victory. 15 on the board and up against a very rough buy from third impact. Max loss bonus going to afford them a couple MP9s, a Max 7, a decline of 5. 7 is all they have to fight. Sodic. Gonna get his head taken clean off. That's a great start for Brett. Reinforcements have arrived in the form of Dane. He's trying to find some shots here. Unable to do so so far. And still, Brett standing as tall as a tower. On this A-bomb site. Dane finds one as well. Brett gets himself another. The flank has arrived as well. And this could possibly head towards OT. Retchy now in a 1v5. It's deep down by the mag. Gonna try and get around the corner here. He does manage to take his way towards the back of sight where the nade will catch him. Fourteenth round. We're going to all thirty either way, and a possible overtime with considering Rebirth's buy right now. It's not all that great. Very re realistic. Although that's not the start that you want if your third impact. It's Dane who goes down first. That is current top fragger. It's, gets himself another 
Zaldic could just do it all here with the AWP. I miss the first two, but he's going for more here. He said it's wrecked with the Deagles, and it might be going out with a whimper for Brett and Crepe here as they are in a 1v4, 2v4 rather. Flashman goes in. 60's already close by, though, and he gets caught off guard by it. 1v4 for Brett to keep them alive. It's all on his shoulders and good impact. Looking like they might just fall short here tonight, and that's what they'll do. It's all over. They do not close it out. At the end of the day, it's going to go in the way of Rebirth in a two-to-one fashion. But all in all, good game. Good games all throughout tonight. This is my uh, third best of three. And of course, it goes into overtime all 30 rounds. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in all throughout the day. I really do appreciate it. Um, but that being said, go hit up my Twitter, at Xner20, if you want to show some love there. With that being said, I'm going to probably throw it over to a raid tonight. Might be hosting Pone alone, so or Swisher just went live. I'll, I'll go ahead and host Swisher. He was able to win tonight's uh, match, so go show Swisher some love. He's the recent victor of the the Cash Cup Spring number one, and show him some love. Go and hit him up with a follow. But with that being said, that's all I have for you tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in all throughout the day, and I will be back here tomorrow. No, I'll be back here soon with some more broadcasts. Whatever, there's more games.